This is David Pike, and I'm a senior agronomist with Agribull, with a pest update for Morning Farm Report for 30 April 2016. Since corn planting is progressing with earnest throughout the upper Midwest, I thought it might be helpful to review the facts about early migratory pests. At this time of the year, insect pests along the Gulf Coast are already in their adult airborne form. So insects such as black cutworm and armyworm moths will be taking advantage of the prevailing surface winds to get a lift, so to speak, into the upper Midwest regions. The animated maps I am showing you are for the midday surface winds from the 10th of April to the 28th of April this year. Notice that since the 10th of April, surface winds into the Midwest have been predominantly from the south. While southerly winds are common at this time of the year, the combination of stormy weather followed by steady winds creates favorable conditions for moth flights to the north. Locations from as far north as Wisconsin, Minnesota, and South Dakota have been reporting significant cutworm moth numbers as well as armyworm moths. While you should be paying attention to the pheromone trap numbers from your own state, it's important to realize that they are only rough guidelines. Actual infestations of cutworms and armyworms in a field is driven somewhat by happenstance of local winds and weather and somewhat by the fact that moths are attracted to areas of uncontrolled weeds or early emerging crop plants as egg-laying sites. The only effective means of determining if significant levels of these pests are in your fields is to scout for cut or damaged plants. Damage thresholds are based on the number of plants cut or damaged the size of the crop plants, and the size of the worm doing the damage, with smaller larvae being able to do a lot more damage before they mature and stop eating. For questions regarding cutworm or armyworm control, check with your state or local extension service.